Well, coming up now, it's time for the bronze medal match in the men's individual compound here in Colombia. We look back over the uh, men's bracket and uh, we've got a matchup coming between uh, the Frenchman Jean-Philippe Pouch and Tate Morgan of the USA. Losing out in uh, the semi-final against his teammate Tate Morgan and uh, Jean-Philippe Pouch losing out to Mr. Perfect and Mike Schlusser, but they've both got to pick themselves up here because there's a medal at stake here in Medellin. So coming up next, France, in the shape of Jean-Philippe Bruch will take on America and Tate Morgan. They're waiting in the wings. Anticipation building. Let's welcome the athletes out onto the red carpet and the field of play. Señoras y señores, por favor, den la bienvenida a los atletas al campo para la medalla de bronce en arco compuesto masculino individual. I'll take Morgan leading the pair out, looking uh, well, very cool and calm in his walk, but serious game face on for the young man. Uh, and he goes up against the Frenchman on target one, Jean-Philippe Pouch. En la diana número uno, representando a Francia, Jean-Philippe Pouch. Well, we can see from the uh, career stats, the en average arrow goes to Jean-Philippe Pouch with a 9.63. And it goes to a tiebreaker. Well... Bush has uh, got the leading line there as well. Bush from France shot a 6.92 in the ranking round and actually came into the uh, knockout phase ranked just 21st. Tate Morgan shot a 7.03 to be ranked 6th. So here we go. Time for the bronze medal match in the men's individual compound. Tate Morgan right, will kick things off. Yeah, yeah, brilliant start there. Wasn't that Chris Schaff I could hear? Yeah, so that's Chris Schaff in his box. Um, they're both from Montana, so they're very used to, uh, to shooting with each other. There he is, Chris Schaff. Cheering on at his fellow statesman. Both pulling their shots, and but one going one way, one going the other. Yeah, I think that's just a little bit of... Um, Just a little bit of archer error there because um, Tate didn't seem pleased with his nine and I don't think Jean was either so Jean just happened to be grouping together well that's yes, it was indeed 29 plays 29 after the first end and they're shooting pretty quickly here as well Looking at the grouping, um, John has kind of more of that diagonal look that we've seen across the board, and then Tate seems to have two arrows close together, and then one little flyer out to the right. <laughs> We'll stick with our shooting order. Tate Morgan will shoot first on target two with the scores all tied up. Just 
off the top of the ice. All right, Adolf, you can get what you need Perfect score of 13 and a half, uh, Tate Morgan. Pressure on Bush here. He's on for a perfect score as well. Yes. Well, well, dropping at two points there, and that, that has proven crucial. Apart from one or two matches uh, throughout the tournament here, getting that early lead is so important. Yeah, absolutely. I think it, it does more for the archer who, who shoots those perfect scores. It gives you a little bit more feedback and gets you into that mode. Uh, the grouping looks pretty good for Tate here. Um, a little bit wide group, but still amongst the ten ring, that's what you're looking for in a finals match like this. Yeah, just that one stray one out to the right, the second arrow for both the launches at the first end. Uh, was a, well, as you referred to it, archer error. Yeah, a little bit. We do that sometimes. You make mistakes? Every now and then. <laughs> well, it's the first time for the French athlete to shoot first, trailing archer, shooting first always at the beginning of an end. Shot. Still has a little bit of wiggle room, so. Nice. Well, that, that is a dece. That is a 10. Yeah, is that Shaft calling the wind a little right to left? Yeah, he's uh, giving him a little bit of info just right as he's pulling up if, if Tate didn't look at the windsock. Chris is giving him a little bit of info. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Shot right. And that is a 10. So drawing level there, both just dropping a point in the first arrow of the third end. Against it's interesting, isn't it, when you are looking at the coaches and the athletes together, there the French you know, pairing, talking to each other, lots of communication. Uh, Chris Schaff is talking to take on the field of play, but when they go to the break between the ends, there's no communication. Yeah, I think uh, Chris is just trying to keep it simple. Um, they're, they're exchanging a little bit of uh, joking humor there just now, but uh, I think they're just trying to keep it light and easy. I think Tate knows what he's doing when it comes to shooting. Chris knows that, and uh, I think there are things to, to work on. Chris would say, you know, look at the wind, one thing or the other, but sometimes no talking is a good thing. Yeah, I'm told that regularly from the producer. <laughs> we start the fourth end here. Great start from Jean-Philippe Bouche. He needs tens to put the pressure on Tate Morgan. He's going to want to close the gap by at least a point here in the fourth end. Yep. Yes, the response from your teammate, Mackenzie, is fabulous. Yeah, just taking charge of making sure those arrows go in the middle is your job right now. 
John looked away as soon as that arrow went off the bow, and I, I again, like I said earlier today, when you shoot your shot and you know it's in, there's no re reason to watch it go in. You know it's there. Well, the door's opened here for Bulsh. Can he get a perfect 30? So uh, not only has Bulls pulled back one, he's leveled things up. So Mackenzie, uh, fascinating that one for me. It looked like uh, Bulls had started to go for the release. I think one thing to note is that archers have a good amount of control when it comes to their shooting. Um, John seems to have quite a few right there in the middle, and his flyers are more low left. Um, this wind might be pushing those out a little bit, but... Uh, Look at that one arrow just. It's 23, 23 millimeters away from the middle yeah. of the spider. Um, but yeah, it, it's just a little bit of control and being comfortable with your with your shot. And uh, here is that perfect score. In the end, and that look away, you, you called it, Mackenzie. You just let go of the arrow and just walked away. But the third arrow couldn't have been more contrasting. Uh, that long release uh, was very strange, but the scores are all tied up, and uh, it will go back to Tate Morgan to kick things off in this end. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Three five five. Solid. Good encouragement from his coach there. happy with that one, but uh, tens all right. Probably just because it was a little low, right at the line. Yes. Yeah. Well, the door has opened here. A 10 for Bush will get him the bronze medal. Oh, he's dropped it into the nine, and the score's all tied up here. We will have a shoot-off here for the men's bronze medal in the individual compound, and what a final arrow that was. Yeah, so uh, when John pulled up on that last arrow, it looked right when he was about to release. He came up off of the wall. Now, for those who don't know, the compound bow has a wall on it, and it feels like you're pulling against... A hot, our hard surface. And, uh, oh, here it is. He creeps up just a little bit. And he recovers, and he's got a really awesome group right there. And uh, I would assume that he's going to adjust for this one arrow shoot off. Well, as a reminder, we go to, uh, as Mackenzie Brown, our expert, referred to a one arrow shoot off. If they both shoot, tens and X's to that, the center ring, and there'll be a second arrow. Uh, enjoying themselves, the Americans. And a token Canadian. Well, we look down at uh, the field of play here. They're going to change the targets. I think they've already done that, actually. And. Uh, Let's make sure the uh, Falco Eye, the measurement system, is working as we go into the shoot off for the bronze medal here in the men's individual recurve in Medellin. Tate Morgan on target two on the right will shoot first. Yeah, did 
damage is on this. Door open. A 10 will do it. This. Oh, wait, long hold. Do it. Let go! Oh, it does! Oh, my God, for so long! Oh, you, I think, uh, was what he said in French there. But Jean-Philippe Bourges kept us all on the edge of our seats right to the end then. And then pulled out a 10 to take the bronze medal in Medellin. Whoa, that was an insane last shot, but somehow it managed a 10. I think he's even a little bit surprised that that went through. I think he's mighty relieved. Oh, what a way to win it and what a way to entertain the crowd. I'm sure that's what he was thinking. I'll just hold on to yeah. this one for as long as I possibly can. It's all can. about the crowd. Well, what entertainment that was from the Frenchman in the end. Coming back from behind. A bit unusual here. And this is it. I mean, that you only catch the, the last little bit of that, but he held on to that for, uh, well, nearly all of the 20 seconds that he had available.